So you can put it like uh, spatial environmental files and then you can just like or, or you can use the, the docker compose file environmental uh, attribute or properties environmental files and then you add a priority or precedency list and you then go in the docker files and uh, you can put it that you, you environmental or argument list in the docker files and from the output of the docker files you can you can pass those environmental variable into the your into the your your, your docker compose file or application.eml file depending how you you, you call it how, how many places but just you have a central place all the environmental variable definitions or settings the values and pass those values into the your different different configuration file system like docker compose files or email files or other file system other, other files if it's required then you can obviously clearly access those files uh, from the environmental variable files and then uh, and how it is work then let, let's have a look on on the on the real life how is the application working so that means we define the all the environmental variables that we need for our applications configuration so we need a the application server address we put it like this way you can key value pairs in the environmental variable and then you need uh, you need need application server just like for the started, this is you see that is the load plotted here. So you see the application server port is plotted and it's being good active. You see the ML files we did and I forget as being profiles active and it's being application names and then you see if you if this environmental variable is not get it will take the default value is the most important you need to be clear you get it clearly. So if you the value is missing and it's take the default value that you define in hard coded value from here. So if it is here, the application database password, and this is a, the, the, if it is not get set into the environmental variable, it's here is the password, and then it's automatically set the value uh, for, 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 for the default value for, for the database and the password. And the plot, and this is the URL. It is the field in the URL, this is the URL, and the default URL that's will be the here is part of the URLs. And usernames, and it's exactly the same thing, and then you put it the default usernames, and so on and so forth. You can define here the, the, the validations, I mean, this is the most important part. I've already discussed about the, what's the difference between the, uh, the JPA, Hibernate, PDL, Auto, we can create, update, and for because we are using the we are using the flyway for data replications and one of the screen last screencast number 64 i already discussed when making a screencast about how can you integrate uh, different database migration migration tools like flyway liquid base you can get it to clear in more detail about you from the last screencast please follow that one so this is, we are using the our using the flyway for this case flyway the database migration tools we put in like the, the update if you see the, the environmental settings like here we can put it here the url and this is the that's the the, the key and we set a validate and then this is the profiles we are running the application into development profiles and this is the application name that we pass it so that means and you define all the environmental variables that you need into the your configurations, into the your application configuration, complete application configurations, and depending how you structure it. So for my idea or professional way that we did, we put it everything in the central part, just uh, the deployment team, or even though for you paid, you simply change this the number that's that the available number where you try to install the application, where database host names, and where the Spring uh, uh, and other, other database connectivity uh, uh, connections with uh, properties, connection information like user and password, but you simply change it here to the central place and the system will automatically compile or, or run the application from out of the user environmental settings and pass these values into the into the application that the ML file and Docker Compose file. So it is clear, you got clear idea. So we set all the variables, the environment variables that you need and to require 
and then uh, put it here into the application.yml files. And even though you can set, if you look at this one, you can set the default value also. If you don't set it, uh, the environment variables, then it means it will come uh, with, it will go with the default values. That's the standard case as for the enterprise products also. So you don't set it, just to take the default value that your application is running properly. So that means that development teams, uh, the deployment teams just need to be changed all the values, what values they require, just can simply run the applications and then it is working, uh, absolutely working that we expected. If you see the working copy that we already here, so we run the deployment copy, we see the URLs, we put it all the, all the files and then we see the, the information. So this is not that. This is the information. We pass the applications. We, we deploy, we build a Docker build. This, the, I will show you later. Docker build. And then we make the one versions of the registration, uh, registration flyway and the, the tag numbers and dots. And then we scale the, all the creating the DB the host names and the uh, applications done and then after that you can just pick up a host map and then it's, it's completely up in the application with the uh, these backend instances uh, with the what's defined in the, the in the, the database so it's running applications and you can see the all the log information and even though you can see that this i will show you later how it's done so we said all the the external variables, external, uh, you see that the C drive, the deployment folders, and the deployment folder has the dot environmental files, the application YAML files, Docker Compass, DML, Docker files, and then you build jar files, standalone jar files. And out of those, uh, those, uh, those, uh, those directory structure, you just simply, simply build uh, your, your Docker image and then run the Docker Compose files automatically. At the end of the day, you see how the Docker Compose config commands, uh, how the those variables is injected to the to the to the your to the your your your, your APK Docker Compose files. You see the difference. You see admin post this, but if you in this case you see the difference in the environmental files. We just simply set it our variables. So you see the build numbers, you see the the the, the, the image numbers and tag numbers. And then you have user password, and then exactly the same. We set it environmental variables number here, so it is also the into the into the properly uh, pass those environmental variable into the your Docker Compose files. If you look at the pictures like this, so you have environmental config uh, files. You see this environmental config files set me import these, and then this is all the uh, image, and then you have the published port number. For the database, the post database, and here the context, and the bill number, you see the one, two, four, and then you see the, uh, the image number that we just created, and the link to it via this one, and published at 2021, this end port, and this is the target port that we set in with our environmental variables. So that means when just your development team or installation team just simply change the the environmental parameters and automatically injected to those uh, those values into the you you respectively Docker Compose files and even the application email file. That means when the application starts, it is looking for the the environmental uh, environmental files and it read read this environment file, set these values into the you to your configuration files it files. It doesn't matter if there's more files or one or two files within for many places, it doesn't matter. So it is a central place you can access those environmental variables in any 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 configuration files. That's the best idea for, for this uh, centrally defined environmental variable. <coughs> so so you define the, the all the environmental variable. We access those environmental variables that where you need can you need to look at you have the, the post these image the image we define that which image you need maybe you need the environmental variables maybe you need I don't know maybe you need eleven or thirteen just you need to be eleven thirteen that's that's the you just simply change we need the eleven or thirteen the versions necessary. 
so that's the global setting that I mean. You can simply change it here and then it's 